sacrifice and love. So the question today is, what will you make of that inheritance? What legacy will you leave for your children and your grandchildren? I think she'll be remembered as someone who did stand on her own two feet, who made decisions that she felt were right for herself and for her community. So I think she sacrificed a lot of the luxuries that she could have had back then in order to make a difference, and I think that's very really admirable. If people are always complaining in this country about how youth are apathetic or they're thuggish or they're whatever, and she came here with a message of you can make a difference where you are, whether you are in politics or you work for a small community organization or you're a lawyer or a doctor or a nurse. Do what you can do and change the world. Presenting a different face to what an African American woman is, you know, beyond the stereotypes. So I think from that point of view, it's very really significant. I think that they'll say that she was a, a supremely talented woman in her own right. The real power behind the throne, if you would say that. I think she'll also be remembered as somebody who who strove for to do her best, to encourage other people, and who was really passionate about uplifting other women. We will be looking to all of you, our young people, to lead the way. And I'm not just saying that to make you all feel good. Over the next 20 years, the next 50 years, our future will be shaped by your leadership. And the reason young people have to step up is because we can't keep relying on the generation ahead of us to mold and to shape this country's present and its future. They've worked hard enough in the past. The time has come for us to step up now. And what I can say to them is that there's room for us if we're willing to, you know, step up, make a plan, find our niche and, and make a contribution. We are the most affected by the problems of the country, like HIV, AIDS, poverty affects young women. I think does any other sector of society. Um, and so I think that in terms of knowledge of the problems and actually an understanding of what the solutions should be, I think the women have got that already. Another thing that South African girls do struggle with is a sense of self-confidence. We don't have that sort of thing within us that says that I can do whatever I want to, I'm able to do whatever I want to, I am smart enough, I am this enough, I am beautiful enough, I am confident enough to achieve whatever I want to achieve. Wherever it is that you're coming from, if there's something that you have a hunch is the right thing for you to do, just do it.